What's going on? I'm Larry Hoover Jr. and I'm rocking with Street Certified News. Yo, it's your boy L. Hitter, Mr. All Yeah, y'all already know what it is, man. I'm rocking with Street Certified News. We got behind the scenes, man. We're gonna tie this bitch up. What up, it's your boy Bum J. We rocking with Street Certified News. Peace out, Greg. Yeah, Street Certified News, man. Street Certified News. Shout out Big Bo. Shout out Walker. Street Certified, man. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Mace Guabo, man. Street Certified News. And we back with another one. This our first video, probably in like a couple weeks. Um, we got some more videos that we've been working on, more long form stuff. Uh, uh, some big cases that I think are very important. Like I said, man, we really want to start looking into these corrupt cops, these corrupt uh, law enforcement organizations, a lot of judicial stuff, man. We're going to be looking into that. So, man, y'all just stay tuned, man. We got a lot of new videos coming up. But we did want to kind of make another video speaking directly about the dude Wag 100, man. Um, There was some information that, you know, we didn't put it in the first video, not because we didn't think it was real or anything like that. We just wanted to focus on the extremely important, unbiased facts to the case. Oh, um, man. Hey, we appreciate you guys' support, man. Um, Again, this is one of those stories where, like, we're not that big of a channel, bro, but our story impacted the culture, man. We're going to let you know, man, we did end up speaking to the dude, Wag 100. Um, He had a lot to say. You know what I'm saying? He had a lot not to say. So we're going to let y'all know about that later in the video, man. Hey, before we get before we get started, man, the last video, man, we asked y'all uh, to smack that like button and run it up to a thousand likes. Uh, we had never asked for a thousand likes ever in a video. Uh, and y'all like double that i think i think uh the whack 100 videos like at 2300 2200 likes or something right now so man from our heart man we greatly appreciate that for this video hey let's go up one more man let's go 1100 likes man so before we get started man let's drop 1100 likes on this video man stop smack that like button man if you rock it with street certified news man it would be greatly appreciated it helps us in the algorithm and it helps spread you know what i'm saying this real reputable street news that we be dropping y'all in the past couple weeks man we ain't really see no stories that was even really worth talking about um that's you know that's another reason why you know what i'm saying we ain't really dropped a whole bunch of videos and nothing like that and to be honest man I was waiting to hear back from your boy Wack, man, because when I tell you, man, we spoke with Wack, we had a pretty decent discussion, and I was kind of waiting to hear back from bro before I dropped this video. I told him I'm dropping another video. This week's video, we're going to speak about Wack 100 responding to these allegations that he is CS2 back in the 2008 Main Street Mafia Crips uh, kidnapping case on January 28th, 2024. A documentary style video will hit World Star Hip Hop's YouTube channel and website, reportedly containing information proving West Coast manager and podcaster Wack 100 was a confidential informant in a case dating back to 2008. Doing further research on the case, after the original video had already amassed over 2 million views on the World Star platform, we at Street Certified News were going to find additional information arrest reports and statements by the men involved seemingly confirming the allegations we always want to make it clear man we did not break this story man shout out to the big homie spider log man street certified news big og out in cali man um he put us in tune with the dude deuce m's from i believe it's keyway and damu uh conversations i might have that wrong but they got a podcast on on, on clubhouse and this dude deuce m's man ceo of active chucks he directed and released a video that hit world star uh back in january at uh, the end of january 2024 and like i said man it amassed over two million views um these is dudes from out in cali man where they really broke down the beginning stages of confirming that whack 100 is back cs2 in the main street mafia crips case so we always just want to let y'all know man you know what i mean this is really our second video covering it but it all days back to the dude deuce m's and the dude spider Logan, man big homie spider Logan, man it all days back to them and the work that they've been doing for months um like i said they've interviewed people that were involved in the case um and they've even gotten you know what i'm saying the dude wag 100 to speak on it a few times either way man 
based off of that video, which eventually got took down. So that's another thing too, man. Uh, Wag 100 did get that video took down. Uh, when we spoke with him, he informed us that you know he hit World Star with a five million dollar cease and desist. If they did not remove the video, then he was planning on suing them for like five million dollars, man. So that's why World Star removed it. Deuce M's was not. Uh, he he was not notified about that, so he's pretty upset with World Star because you know I don't know if he paid his bread. I don't know what he did to get it up there, but usually that comes with its own contract. And you know, within a few days, even after amassing over two million views, the video got took down. And you know, when we spoke with Deuce Sims, I know he he wasn't happy about that, but he was happy that you know his voice was able to be heard in this situation. <laughs> After releasing our own report on WAC 100 being CS2 back in the Main Street Mafia crib case, the response from our story was surprising. Other YouTubers and podcasters began reporting on the case, even fellow No Jumper host Brick Baby, throwing a paperwork party on his weekly show, seemingly making fun of the fact that WAC 100 had been called out. Many people from LA hit us to thank us for spreading the truth about WAC 100. And while all of our supporters showing us love was great, in the following days, we felt that we needed to reach directly out to Wack himself. With the response we had, with everything kind of going how it was, man, we, we thought it was extremely necessary to reach out to Wack himself. Uh, when we dropped the original video, we made it clear that we were not trying to jump on Wack's back. We don't hate Wack 100. I don't even know Wack 100. We have made videos in the past, mainly about things he said about other people and kind of injecting himself into street politics. That's not really his business. Um, but we let that be separate from how we looked at this case. And because of kind of the amount of support we got, we felt the need to reach out to WAC. So through our own contacts, you know, we spoke with WAC 100 on the phone and, um, you know, he, he did not want to make like an official statement he didn't want to do an interview he didn't want to do anything like that but he did state that um he had nothing to do with the mafia with the mafia case uh and he believed that you know robert ross was the only informant on that case which you know like i said if you watch the first video we know that's not that we know that's not true um robert ross was a witness he was the victim in the case but they there was a confidential source too and i'm assuming there could have been a confidential source one i don't know if that would have been robert ross but either way uh our first video when we were speaking about wag 100 was directly about confidential source two which he said he wasn't that guy again we know that not to be true during the conversation we also let wag 100 know that we would likely be making another video kind of just backing up you know the original video you know uh, i believe the original video stands on its own so if you just watch that you'll know everything you need to know about the wag 100 case this video is just more about an update about him and what he said during our conversation um like i said he let us be known that if we were to make another video which we are right now so like i said here, here you go whack we making the video um he could potentially send us the same paperwork that he sent world star hip-hop he claims that world star hip-hop was his first legal victim when it comes to you know this news coming out and he basically told us hey man you're gonna be victim number two if you keep making these videos about me so um although we did take some time we we checked out the you know what i mean we 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 talked to some people we figured some shit out here come the second video whack so you know i guess the ball's in your court whack 100 he did um at the end of our conversation he asked me if i wanted to come on clubhouse and and i guess talk about this in front of you know his his friends and fans and supporters and stuff like that that was something that we declined but seeing as though we're making another video about whack man we'll leave that up to y'all man let us know in the comments man do y'all think we should hit whack up and go on clubhouse and argue with this dude in front of all his friends i don't really see any benefit in it other than i guess drama you know people could record the conversation and it could go up on youtube or whatever but that's not really what we in it for so like i said just presenting the case and then doing the following update to his response to me that's newsworthy Going on Clubhouse and arguing with Wack 100 is not really that important to me, man. To be honest, the case not even that important to me, man. I was, to be honest, you know what I've been watching the last couple weeks? Uh, water engines, man. Uh, uh, hydrolysis, turning water 
into hydrogen to power your vehicle man it just be so much more stuff that's important you know what i'm saying uh uh than whack 100 but either way we'll let y'all know man y'all let us know in the comments man should we hop on on clubhouse and argue with this dude whack? also it was another thing um like i said at the end of our first video we 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 basically laid out everything that cs2 did including warning the main street mafia crips about robert ross being an informant um this is something that we told you guys in the first video whack 100 admitted to during a clubhouse interview um we asked him directly about that say hey bro um you admitted that you helped save seven mafia crips from you know from going to jail like that's exactly what cs2 did you know what i'm saying on the wiretap he was caught contacting mark stevens contacting uh liddell rawls and, and basically uh warning them that hey there's a, a snitch in your in your camp we asked him about that again this was something that he said hey i don't got nothing to do with that i don't know nothing about uh the main street mafia crips i don't know nothing about that case again we know that not to be true what about the stutter box case uh what, what the about the case free, when you free okay hold on you said you free crips I did. I free seven of them. I definitely did. Do you want me to bring one of them in the room? I was one of the seven from his neighborhood. I tell him. To, you want me to bring him in here? That case oh. like a little fishy. Whack. I ain't gonna hold you. What case a little fishy? I was never on the case. One of the biggest pieces of information. I ain't gonna call it evidence because we is not twelve. You see what I'm saying? But one of the biggest pieces of information. One of the biggest pieces of information that. Uh, we had when we made the original case or the original uh, story about WAC 100 being CS2 back was a LA County WAC 100 admits that his home was raided and they took a whole bunch of documents and paperwork and stuff like that uh, when they raid your house and they do that you are arrested like they're not going to raid your crib and not arrest you you see what I'm saying so he was temporarily arrested detained whether the charges stuck or not it seems like they didn't but a report was generated uh by this la county sheriff raid that report we were able to obtain that report before we made our first video and it was very helpful with corroborating things that came from the wiretap transcripts and also corroborating things that came directly out of whack 100's mouth man so like i said whack bro be safe when you out here in these streets man the streets is not rocking with you man and you going to war with a lot of people and i don't know if it's gonna work out for you you see what i'm saying i hope so though man we don't wish nothing bad on nobody um but yeah man hey it's your boy mxl grapple man streets are the fad news man we out